Hello, it's me, that divination witch. I hope you're doing well. I'm back with a witchy video. I want to talk about what it means to be a child of Hecate. So let's get into it. If you don't know who I am, hello. My name's Sarah. I go by that divination witch online. I started off on TikTok posting readings there and I've branched out here onto YouTube. <laughs> talking about my personal journey, sharing information that I've learned and, and things like that. And if you're interested, please do subscribe. I've got a link tree below where you can get readings from me on Etsy and uh, Patreon if you're interested in that as well. Thank you. So if you found me through this video, hello, you're more than likely another child of Hecate <laughs> and I'm honoured to meet you. As cheesy as that may sound, I am. Mother, I mean in Hecate, she brings her people to me all the time and I I want to talk about what it means to be her child. I've noticed for the first thing we've all been through things and, and I know everyone has a history, everyone has a past and a lot of people have traumas but Hecate, she chooses those of us have really faced adversaries, have really been traumatised, been through the ringer and then some. It could be childhood traumas, it could be, you know, big, big events in our lives that have made us feel less than worthy. She picks people like that. She sees the true potential in us, that's what it is. And she heals in that regard. She is a very loving, healing woman, for all she is this dark goddess. She is transformative for a reason. And yes, a lot of us have trauma and have issues that we have to work through. And Mother helps us do that. And that is the strongest common theme that I've found in other sons and daughters of Hecate. Her children, per se, us, <laughs> and even in mythology, her children, they're, they're not her biological children, she never had biological children, even in mythology the children she has are misfits, are the ones that have been through traumas, bad things, again, I think of the likes of the, the Lamia, the Empada, I can't say it right, the Lampards, Circe, Medea, these people who Hecate has took under her wing in some form or another in mythology. Even her dogs, even her pole cat were once human beings. Uh, she's took them under her wing and adopted them and she does that. She is this mother figure, but for all she's a mother figure, she has no biological children of her own and the children she has are plentiful but yeah they've been mistreated in some way <laughs> so yes she wants us to be stronger and to see her tr our true potential the potential she sees in us she wants us to live it live our true purpose but what is our true purpose what does that mean and this is what I've come to realise as well, that we all have different job roles, whether we realise it or not, whether we think we're worthy of it or not. We do. Mother thinks we're worthy, and it's mother's wisdom that is helping us. And we trust in her, so we need to trust in ourselves in that same regard. Now, me, right now, you know, I might have a small YouTube channel. One day, I hope, for it not to be that small but I'm doing this for mother not just for me yeah there is a part of it for me but there's also a part of it for her because I feel one of my jobs for mother is to talk about her practically to spread the truth about her to say factual things about her and share my experience as well. We all have different experiences of course but there is a lot of scaremongering about her and I do truly feel it's my job to spread the knowledge that I know. 
and there are other Hecatean witches out there who are doing the same. There is a book I recently bought by a Hecatean witch who I think her name's Angel Greer. If you ever see this angel, hello. <laughs> uh, it was just a dedication to Hecate and she talked about her in her own way and her own personal experience with her and I just felt mother's love through those pages. I really did. Uh, there are other Hecatean witches that share knowledge about her as well, more popular than that. Uh, I can't remember names off the top of my head, but like the book Entering Hecate's Garden, Keeping Her Keys. She's a well-known authoress. <laughs> uh, she's got a YouTube channel. People like that sharing knowledge on Mother. That's a job role. But say you don't feel called to do that, say you don't want to do social media or write a book or whatever. We're not all doing the same jobs. <laughs> Another one of my job roles I've realised when it comes to mother is helping the dead and I never ever thought I'd do that ever <laughs> but I do. Now mother is of course known as a goddess of the restless dead and has been since ancient times and what that basically means is lost souls she guides them to where they need to be but that's a big job just for one lady. <laughs> although she is a goddess and all-powerful she has help on the other side she has help in the form of her spirit companions like the lampards uh, in the form of her dogs and other spirits and allies and she has help in the human world in the form of us her children and I've always been I don't mean to toot my own horn, I'm humble about it, but I have always been good at divination, hence my username. I've always just been able to do it, it just clicks with me. And for some people, that's not the case. We all have talents in different areas. But for me, divination is my forte, and Mother has brought spirits through to me on several occasions, and she still does. And that's part of my calling. I've helped some spirits move on. I've helped them move on by connecting them with their lost loved ones or, or, or who are living, like surviving relatives, getting a message out. This is not always paid readings either. This is just say out the blue. I just get downloads sometimes. I've physically helped spirits move on in in and around like the area I live. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like that is. A part of my job role. If you work with mother you may have experienced something like this as well yourself. I have a friend who's a Hecatean witch as well, close friend, and she too has experienced similar things. We were even having a chat at time of filming the other day where mother will get us to like do random things, acts of service, like cleaning up nature, like picking up litter and things like this just out the blue like she does things like that. She cares. She cares so much about humans. Hecate really does. With her being a goddess of other things, of course, your job role could be something different. You may be a healer. You may be someone who is there to help people with your magic, with her being a goddess of witchcraft. You may be someone who is there to serve justice through magic because she is a goddess that's a firm believer in justice as well uh, there are numerous job roles like that but I strongly feel that no matter who you are if she has chosen you one Hecate wants you to see your power your true power and unlock the power that you have inside and to feel worthy because you are worthy. You just as got you've got just as much right, sorry, as being here as anyone else. Okay? She wants us to be stronger. She wants us to be powerful in our own right. But two, you will find yourself doing things that align with her values for her, whether that is helping lost souls whether that is spreading information whether that is healing people whether that's serving justice to people whether it's educating 
whether it's writing a book on her, whether it's, I don't know, writing music in her name, uh, creating things, artwork even. Hecate's people are special people and I I share a great love for you all, you know, and, and that's ultimately it's Hecate that brought me onto this path, not just spirituality, but social media. She sparked my creative spark. She sparked something in me that was like, right, no, I wanna I wanna share my experience. I wanna help people, I wanna reach out to people, I wanna touch people <laughs> not literally, <laughs> that sounds wrong, but it's a connection, it's a heart to heart. Seriously guys, if there is somebody out there that I help mother find and vice versa, like that's, that's my job done, that in itself, you know. Uh, I may go more in depth about job roles per se, but I do feel like no matter what deity you work with, even if it's not Hecate, even, you know, it could even be Jesus, it could be anyone, uh, we do their work on earth whether we like it or not and whether we realize it or not we we do end up embodying their values as well they do say deity work changes you and it does it really does uh not just physically mentally spiritually emotionally all of it it's a transformation and hecate is known as a transformative goddess so yeah i just wanted to talk about it let me know have you got any experience in this? Do you work with her? Do you worship her? Let me know. What's your opinion? I'm, I'm curious. And yeah, until next time, stay safe and stay witchy. Bye.